to the British Columbia Crea Creative Achievement Award of Distinction. In British Columbia, we have exceptional applied artists and designers who over many years have distinguished themselves as leaders in their field, accomplished artisans and designers who have national and international reputations, successful, creative entrepreneurs who have combined their talent and skills with passion and determination. These talented British Columbians have carved out a niche for themselves within their field and helped bring recognition to both their work, work and the province. Their names are synonymous with distinction, innovation, and creativity. It is a tradition to present to our distinction recipients a certificate that is quintessentially British Columbian. Each component is produced by British Columbia artists. And tonight, we honor the 2018 Award of Distinction Laureate, Bill Packett. You want to come up, Bill? Come on, why not? Come and sit up here, the place of honor. There we are. For over 30 years, Bill has dedicated himself to creating environments that uh, bring people together in refreshing and unexpected ways. He's made his mark on public spaces across the country through his street furnishings, lighting, urban infrastructures, public art, and memorial design. Many of his contributions can be found around the Lower Mainland, including seating and lighting on Granville Street and the shipyards in North Vancouver. In all his projects, Bill has extended the possibilities of merging social space with sculptural invention and sound ergonomics. As an artist and mentor, Bill frequently lectures on the critical role that public space plays in healthy and vibrant cities. Bill's work emanates from a desire to generate a generous sense of simultaneous recognition and pleasurable strangeness in the public realm, giving individuals the permission to see the world as a little bit wondrous. Please join me in welcoming Bill Peckett, and ladies and gentlemen, please uh, watch your screens. Uh -oh. Actually, that's, that's good love. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> way to go, thank you. Um, we, we planned that, that was scripted. <laughs> that was all supposed to happen. Um, well, now you know all my secrets, I really. <laughs> And you have to be careful what you say when you're being filmed, but uh, there you go. Um, well, you know that you're 61 when your speech is in 18 font. That's a real <laughs> indicator. Anyways, uh, many thanks to the BC Achievement Foundation for this incredible honor. It means so much to me to be uh, recognized in this way. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Fred Cowsey Fred, for, uh, for making this film. Um, he had what I think was a very difficult challenge of hearing me speak about the work. Uh, we spent two and a half days together and I think I kept saying, well, let's look at this project. Okay, what about this thing? What about, you know, let's look at the bird's foot. Um, he graciously let me add to the pile of stuff that I wanted to talk about. And so I really appreciate his patience and his excellent questions. It's pretty rare for me to reflect on what it is that I do. And so going through this process with Fred was also very enlightening for me personally. My design and art making life has found its form in a myriad of applications, media and scale. And so describing it as a whole is very difficult. I've always just thought that I was sort of noodling around and trying things out. Um, 
Since a young age, I was simultaneously drawn to cities, urban and cultural geography, art and architecture. And thanks to the support of my family, um, who also recognized that I would never be a hockey player, uh, I was able to nurture these interdependent interests all the way through school and beyond into my adult life. And I feel blessed that I've been able to operate in multiple ways such as these. In my teaching at UBC, um, at the School of Architecture and Landscape Architecture, I always try to develop a sense of curiosity within my students about the structures, systems, and phenomena of the built world. And I stress that any act of creation or design resonates and affects things beyond itself at many scales. I see a house as a public act. I think you can find a city in a single bench and a universe in a sandbox. Everything we make is nested within larger and smaller contexts. And those are the, th the kinds of things I try and show my students. And I hope that my work exemplifies this way of thinking. I also encourage my students to see their ideas as seeds rather than as being autonomous artifacts. That spaces and objects are a kind of aestheticized manure for other things to grow and flourish. Hopefully my own work does that as well. I'm pretty sure that most of you are looking forward to the dessert course. But before that, I just want to mention the names of some people who have been intrinsically connected to my work in different ways and supported me over the years. Some are gone, some are here, and some probably just didn't RSVP. <laughs> but we'll start with my parents, uh, Judy and Mitch, who each in their own way gave me the right support to do what I love. They never agreed on anything, but this made me aware that everything is subjective that everything is, has two sides. Um, I want to thank my first art teacher, Lino Tonin, who uh, had me copy Picasso paintings instead of doing normative um, still lives. He taught me how to do Picasso's big nose, and uh, I'm continuing to draw them today. I want to thank Jean Richards, also an, an art teacher of mine, who taught me to draw ook pics that mythical bird that I'm still working with. Uh, Freddie Douglas from art school who taught me to read continental philosophy, uh, even though I never understood anything about what he was saying. Um, I wanna thank my thesis advisor, Bud Wood from architecture school who let me do a crazy project in Tokyo called the Museum of Sand. And many of the detritus of that is in the exhibition here. I want to thank my design partner of 17 years and fellow Venice Biennale collaborator, Stephanie Robb. I want to thank uh, the incredible model maker and thinker, Nicholas Osington. And I want to thank Gabe and Joe Daly, with whom I had many years of creative um, association. I also want to thank Peter Kruick and his team from Durante Kruick for 10 years of collaboration on remaking an entire shipyard. Uh, Margot Long and PWL for years as well of participation on giant urban projects like Granville Street, uh, Mountain View Master Plan, etc. And also Shirley Barnett, uh, my cemetery buddy and fellow Sagittarian. Um, I also want to thank my current studio mate, Lawrence Vaz, who, who I will soon lose to Japan. And of course, I want to thank the rest of my family, my sister Sydney, who is my best sounding board, and my brothers Sam and Casey. Also, my colleagues at SALA, the School of Architecture and Landscape Architecture, many of whom are here tonight, who are endlessly inspiring to me, intelligent, and truly my teachers as well. And finally, to Billy Richardson. Hi, Billy. Who indulges me my every good and bad idea with excellent insight and patient counsel. Thank you. <laughs>